when Vaino hit the front and spurted so quickly. The tall Finn is looking at the lap marker and it shows four to go. And they're in single file now as they feel it. Kova follows his tracks. Antibo, 419, is right there as well. Stefano Meda, three Italians in the top four. Ericsson is five, Castro six, Prianon seventh, John Tracy eighth. Then we come back to Steve Binns, uh, back in 11th place, Steve Harris is 12th. And that was a 63-second lap, and that's caused all this trouble. The test for Vainio, though, is to keep it going and run another 63-second lap, because if he slows down from here, he's just leaving himself a sitting target for the rest of them. But he seems to be keeping the pressure on, and he has to do that against Kova. He learned, his, he learned that in Los Angeles against Kova, and he's learning it again tonight, because he, as soon as he spurted, Kova followed him, and Stefano May, the other Italian, followed him too, and, and Antibo. And the Italians are getting excited because they think they can be one, two, three in this race. John Tracy struggling at the back of the group, but the British boys were destroyed by that 63-second lap. The Italians have every right to be excited, but the Finns are getting excited as well, see Vainio there. And you look back at the Finnish record in this 10,000 metres, they've won it previously no less than five times. 34 and 38, the great uh, Salminen. Then Heino in 46. Vartanen in 71. And Vainio himself in 78. Other great names have won this. Emil Zadepek won it twice. Kraskoviak of Poland won it. Polotnikov of the Soviet Union won it. Jürgen Haaser of East Germany has won it twice. And of course, Kova in there in second place is the reigning champion. Canario keeping going on the outside. I suspect that's really to encourage the young twin there. Uh, Castro, who's right with that leading group. Eight of them left, battling for gold, silver and bronze. Well, he didn't do what I thought he would do, Vainio. He ran 67 seconds for that lap, and the whole field bunched again. Stefano may I notice looking around, we'll see who else is around, he'll check them over, he'll know who they are. And I think Antibo is getting ready to make a run on the outside, because he knows that he can't wait, and there he goes, Antibo, the Italian, trying to test the other two sprinters. And certainly Canario is trying to encourage young Castro, he shouted to him as he went by, and they've got two laps to go. Eight of them there. Antibo leads, Kova where he's been throughout the race almost in second place following every move and he hit uh, there was a slight nudge there with Vainio as they went around that bend I think Kova got a bit close to him and it's Italy now one two and three and Thibaut Kova May and little Castro of Portugal the 22 year old twin goes into fourth place well the Portuguese have produced some shocks but this could be one of the biggest Little bumping going on, and Vainio's now in trouble as they come round with just over a lap left. Italy looking for a clean sweep, and the only man who seems able to stop them at the moment is the little Portuguese, but they've slowed it down again, and Vainio, Tracy and Ericsson are getting back with them. This time for the leaders, the bell. The others have got a lap to go. The champion leads, Mai in second place, and Thibaut third. And young Domingos Castro is in fourth place. Fifth is John Tracy, sixth is Ericsson, and Vainio is beaten. 300 left, and May taking Kova on. The younger Italian takes on the champion, and he's really trying him out at his own game. He's going for the long sprint and trying to run the short sprint out of Kova. But Kova responds like the Olympic, European and world champion he is. And he's very much back in, with Antibo in third place at the moment. And it's going to be Italy 1, 2 and 3. Will it be Mai? Will it be Kova for the gold? And Mai knows that Kova, the fast short sprint is there, and he can't release it! The champion is beaten by the young pretender. Stefano May becomes the champion at 23 years old. Kova claps! The new hero, Antibo is third, one, two, three for Italy. Ericsson may have been fourth, Castro five, Tracy six, Baino in seventh place, Prionor of France at eighth. Hartman in ninth place for Austria. Steve Harris of Great Britain is tenth, and in twelfth place, Stevie Bins.
The last lap, 55.6. And Stefano May has learned enough about the master to know how to take him on. A slow race. And he waited and hit him from 300 out. He didn't allow him the luxury of sitting for a short sprint. He gradually wound at the pace all the way down the back straight. And when Kova went for the kick, there was nothing left. Well, the whole of Italy will rejoice at a 1-2-3. But you must remember that you're seeing the Italian championships here as well as the European championships because they couldn't get them to run together. If they could, they would said that they would. At their best, they may run one, two, and three. It's rather like our great 1,500-meter runners. Italy have been waiting for this night when they're all together. And the young pretender, Stefano May, the policeman, the 24-year-old with the sprint finish, beats the master at last. Well, there's a lot of Italian support here. In fact, there are a lot of visitors in Stuttgart for these championships. There's a big British contingent. But it's the Italians' night for celebration, and Stefano May in particular how well he judged it because Kova got back to him at 200 he kicked hard down the back straight but he knew exactly what he was doing and the young Italian was just trying to run the sting out of the champion and it worked at this moment there must have been doubts because Kova was there waiting to pounce but when he went for the kick May responded immediately and it was Kova who was left wallowing and he really is struggling May looks back, almost surprised at his own power, and he goes away to become the European 10,000 metres champion, with gold, silver and bronze going to Italy. Well, it was always possible it would be a tactical race, but this man's tactics were just right. He was always in the first three, four. He was always behind Kovac. And I think he'd selected Kova as the man he'd got to beat. This was where the damage was done. As May elected to go from way, way out. And of course, this is a young man who stepped up in distance from 1,500 and 5,000. And doesn't it show? Well, it certainly showed on the last lap there, but <clears throat> he'd obviously chosen to attack to pull the finish out of Kova. He did that very successfully going down the back straight. And when Kova got closer to him, came back to him, I thought he was closing on him there again. Then Stefano May came into the finish, finishing straight and kicks on again. Running all the 1500 meter races that he's run and all the fast finishes he's run in that distance have helped him here because in full flow, he looks tremendous. And there's We've never seen anybody do this to Alberto Kova, and Alberto just thought there that he could get back. Stefano May glanced over his shoulder, and you can see he's decided, head down, just drive to the tape. Kova's under pressure there, beginning to feel that his legs are running, and all of a sudden, just... Now, he decides he's going to be second, and Stefano May runs on again and decides that Italy are going to win the championship again, but this time it's Stefano May. Uh, uh, and I felt he had a better chance at 5,000 metres, and who knows, he's got an equal chance at 5,000 metres as he had here tonight. <clears throat> Look at the battle down the straight. Young May is drifting out, you can see that. Um Tired athletes do that as they look to the right at attacking athletes. They drift off the curb. He's out almost on the lane marker. Kova being driven wide, but he's beaten anyway. Looks back to see if he's safe for silver, and that's for sure. And looks back to see that Italy have got bronze as well. One, two, and three. Castro, what a great race he's had. He has a battle for fourth place with Ericsson and John Tracy of Ireland in, fifth, in sixth.